Merry Christmas, everybody, and happy holidays. I'm going to do a track time competition with the holiday cars that I opened up on the Race Grooves YouTube channel. These holiday cars are over 10 years old. I opened up 18 packages. I'm going to have a little competition. Real cars first Acceleracers recolors against more Hot Wheels fantasy cars. Here's the link if you want to see that downhill racing competition on race grooves. First, we're going to do some qualifying. Each team is going to pit their own members against each other to find the three fastest on each team. Up first, we have the Ferrari 360 Modena up against the 57 Chevy. Set, go! The Ferrari advances. These kicker loops have to be reset after each race, as well as these corner kickers. Now it's time for some former Acceleracers models. In red, we have RD04 up against Rolling Thunder. Set, go! RD04 edges out Rolling Thunder. The cars that do not advance will be put past this far curve. After this first competition, we're going to do it again and see if we get a different winner. Jester's going to take on Rail Rodder. Set, go! Rail Rodder's a little tall, so I'm going to have to be a little tricky with the starting gate. Set, go! Rail Rodder didn't even make it to the kicker loop. Jester is going to be declared the winner. The Chevy 1500 is going to go up against the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 7. Set, go. The Chevy 1500 advances. It's RD05 and Spine Buster. Set, go. Spine Buster was so fast, he wants to get on with the next race. It's Shadow Jet 2 up against the Governor. Set, go. Shadow Jet 2 probably wasn't going to make the loop anyways, but it didn't even do good in the curve. The Governor's ready to race again, just like Spine Buster. Shadow Jet 2 might not even have made it through the loop because it's very low profile. Let's go ahead and give it a chance. Vroom, 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 vroom. Set, go! And the last battle of real cars to see who's going to get to enter the race is the Corvette Stingray up against the Camaro Z28. Set, go! Both cars make it all the way around, but it's the Corvette that gets to enter the competition. The last pairing for the Accelerators is Technetium against Synchro. Set, go! Synchro it is. And the last Fantasy Cars pairing, you have Track Tune up against Semi Cycle. Set, go! If you've seen my track time presentation with this layout, cars had problems with this curve. Unfortunately, Semi-Cycle is the first victim. This time I put some foam mats on the floor though. Here we go, it's the first pairing from the real cars. We have the Chevy 1500 up against Jester. They're kind of both pickup trucks. Set, go! Oh yeah, did you check out Jester showing off at the finish line? Better not goof around because the Chevy 1500 could have knocked you out. Jester advances. Here's the next match from the real cars. You have the Corvette Stingray up against the fantasy car. Well, actually, it's a former Acceleracers Synchro. Set, go! Synchro's the winner. Up next, we have Track Tune up against Spine Buster. It was in the Metal Maniacs from the Acceleracers. Set, go. 
Oh my, after such a fantastic race in the qualifying, Spinebuster is not able to get to the finish line before track two. I almost said track time. Before track two. After the first race, two real cars were eliminated and one Acceleracers model. Since I have an odd number of cars left, the Ferrari is going to get a buy. That means RD04 is up against the governor. Set, go. Oh my, oh my, the governor fans are not going to be happy. He's out. RD04 advances. <sighs> What's that? Fans aren't happy? Bring back the governor? Okay. The Ferrari 360 Modena is not going to get a bite. It has to beat the governor. Set, go. There you have it. The Ferrari earned its position to advance in the competition as the governor again has trouble coming around that last curve kicker. We still have an odd number of cars, so we're not sure what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get a matchup. It's track tune against Jester. Set, go. Once again, Jester showing off right in the rails. Track tune advances. RDO4 versus Synchro. Set, go. Another exciting race, but Synchro comes out of its lane and RDO4 is the winner. Hey, Ferrari, you can't get a buy again. You're going to have to go up against each of these two cars. Both of them crashed. All you have to do is stay in the lane. Synchro versus the Ferrari 360 Modena. Set, go. Nope. Can you beat Jester? Set, go. Well, once again, Jester's body design isn't perfect for this track. The Ferrari does beat him. Now the Ferrari's going to have to beat both of these two cars. Hey, we have all red cars. What's up with that? RD04 versus the Ferrari. Set, go. And the Ferrari advances. Hey, Mr. Racing Drone, don't be a bad sport. Now it's track two up against the Ferrari. Set, go. Oh! When I did track time, that never happened. I have no idea who won. Let's go ahead and switch lanes and race them again. Are you ready? Get set. Go! Well, the Ferrari comes out on top, but I guess the brackets weren't very good. I didn't have an even number. Started with 18, and you need like 16 for better brackets. Let's go ahead and take out Rail Rotter. It didn't do well. Neither did Stealth. Let's take out those two. Now we have 16. Let's do it all over again. Coming up next. There we go. Much, much better. 16 cars. Better for bracket racing. There you have Rail Rotter. And Shadow Jet 2. I hope I didn't call it stealth. That's okay. Mattel gets confused too. Back in 1996 in the Spice Print series, they called Shadow Jet 2 stealth as well. Up first, it's Synchro versus the Ferrari. Set, go. Synchro advances. Sorry, Ferrari. You had a lot of chances the first time. You're out. RDO5 against Jester. Set, go. Finally, Jester has a good run. Stays on the track. Hey! Look at RDO5. It's the Corvette Stingray against Technetium. Set, go. Both cars have a smooth run, but it's the Corvette that gets to advance. Semi Psycho up against the Chevy 1500. If you've seen my downhill racing video, I'm making sure I say Semi Psycho. Kind of said it too fast, and I said it sounded like Psycho every time. Semi Psycho. Set, go. Oh no, Psycho, where'd you go? It's the Lancer Evolution 7 up against Rolling Thunder. Set, go. 
Uh oh, what happened? One of the wheels isn't turning. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. I'm going to go underneath. Oh, it looks like it's tucked under the rim a little bit. Let's see if I can get it out. There you go. Okay, let's go ahead and let him have another race. Rolling Thunder wants to win fair and square. Set, go. There you have it. Good sportsmanship. Spinebuster up against Track Tune. Set, go. Spine Buster looked like he popped up out of the track. Track Tune cruises into the next round. It's RDO 4 against the 57 Chevy. Set, go. Very nice race, but the racing drone edges out the classic 57 Chevy. Here's the last two. It's the Governor against the Camaro. Set, go. Did I put him on backwards or did he spin around on the track? Let's go ahead and make our pairings right here. Everybody just turn around. And that will be the head-to-head -head matchups. Rolling Thunder vs. Synchro. Set, go! Oh, what an upset! Rolling Thunder advances! It's Jester versus Track Tune. Set, go! Well, well, well. Track Tune advances. Corvette Stingray, RD04. Set, go! That Corvette sure is a nice racer as it makes it to the final four. That means we have one real licensed car, one fantasy car, and another fantasy car. This one was from the Acceleracers. Each team still has a member in the race. Who's going to have an extra car or truck? The Chevy, that's the silver truck. Or the fantasy car, the Governor. Sick, go! Oh my, I can just imagine all the hearts skipping a beat for the Governor fans, but the Governor does hold on, gets back into the race, and advances to the final four. Here's the matchups. Let's slide this one over. You go ahead and turn around. Back it up. There you go. On your marks. Get set. Go. Great race, Rolling Thunder edges out track two. What are you trying to do, give him an oil change? I will set track two here. This will be able to race for third place. Which car is going to race for first, and which one's going to race for third? Set, go! Oh my! Both cars off the track, switch lanes. Actually, I don't remember which car was in which lane. We're going with this. Set, go. Oh, the Governor flies out of its lane and the Corvette advances. The Governor is going to go up against Track Tune. Somebody's going to get third, someone's going to get fourth. These two are racing for first and second. Who's going to get third place and Governor, are you going to stay in your lane this time? Set, go! Well, what can you say? If you don't stay in the lane, you just put yourself at a disadvantage. Fourth place for the governor! Third place for Track Tune. Here we go. This one's for all the chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Set, go! There you have it, second place for the Corvette, first place for Rollin' Thunder.
Don't forget I have a downhill racing competition with all these cars over on race crews. Thank you for watching and have fun with your toys. Bye bye.